Uh, delighted to say I'm joined again today by Andrew Gibney. He's a football writer you can find over at Football Whispers. But he's covered League on extensively from pretty much everyone. 442 Yahoo, FrenchFootballWeekly.com. Uh, if you've got a, friend, a question about French football, he's your guy. So that's why I've come to you today, Andrew, because we're re- reading that Arsenal have had two bids for Thomas Lamar rejected. The latest, €35 million. Euros. Do you think Arsenal are wasting their time? Having lost so many players and potentially losing a couple more, do you think Monaco would contemplate selling Lamar? Lamar's one of the players, along with Kylian Mbappe, who I think they're really going to try and keep this summer. Mm. I think like Fabinho back at Yoko, obviously Silva's gone. They were happy to let them go, thinking we've got Lamar, we've got Mbappe, that's what we'll build on. So I think it is going to take... When I saw the rumours on a Wednesday saying 30 million, I was like, that's not going to be enough right. to sort of tempt Monaco. They don't, they don't have to sell him. So you're really going to have to twist their arm and uh, cross their palm with a lot of silver to make it happen. And that's just how good he's been for them since since moving from Con that they, they, they want to keep him in, in sort of all costs. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting because my impression in England, I mean, there's been so much hype about Mbappe and I guess a couple of others, Silva, Bakayoko. Would you put Lamar in that category? Has he been as good for Monaco as, as those guys that last season? I think so. Silva was probably above him in Mbappe sort of the impact he had was phenomenal but Lamar over the whole season was really consistent and I think it's still early days for him he he can grow more and I think they know that and I think he knows that as well there was quotes back I think January February his father saying that he wanted just to play a minute and more minutes on the field and you can see him becoming a leader in this team for another 12 months so he's been crucially important. He's, some of his performances in the Champions League, uh, beside Benjamin Mendy on that left side, mm. were superb. And, but he's just, I think he's got a lot more to, to go in this Monaco team, and I think that's why they'll fight to keep him. Yeah, I mean, from, from what I've seen of him, he looks to me, I must say, as an Arsenal fan, like a, a kind of classic Arsene Wenger player, technically so accomplished, very intelligent. It's going to be a battle to get hold of him, but if they can, do you think he would fit well into this Arsenal side? It's interesting, it was where, where would you play him? Because it depends on what formation Wenger's using. If he, if he sticks with the 3-4-3, three, three, that left wing position, you think, gets a lot more out of him than you would. If yeah. you're playing him as a, as a, le- a left midfielder, you, he wants to track back then, he has to fight a bit more. But he, he's probably more of a sort of number 10 than a winger. Mm. Just the way Monaco play, they're very narrow, the wing backs push down. So you want him to get on the ball in these spaces. And that sort of left mid, if you're playing it as a, as a number 10 role, I think he could be really, really special given uh, there's more defensive people behind him to protect and you're just letting him do what, what he's best at doing, yeah. I mean, the concern, I guess, for Arsenal fans is when they look at the position he plays, they might think, well, this could be an area where we might lose Alexis Sanchez. It Could he be coming in directly? I mean, Lamar's such a young guy. Do you think he is ready to be an Alexis Sanchez replacement? Yeah, that's, that's a big sort of... There's a tag to put on him, isn't it? There's a lot yeah. of pressure in that, and he's not going to score the same goals as Sanchez. He doesn't do the same things. It's just more the, the position in the team that would be very similar. Mm. Yeah, it's, you'd probably want him somewhat like Sanchez. If you can keep Sanchez, you want him to picking out Sanchez with what runs in the box and that combination. He's probably more of a Meza Ozo in terms of his vision and what he can do with his left foot mm. rather than being anything like Sanchez in terms of uh, profile. But if you can get both of them in the same team, that that's a massive combination. But yeah, I'd say he's more Ozil than than Sanchez and what Arsenal are looking at. That's really interesting. I mean, and you spoke about that sort of wand of a left foot. Is that really where he excels? Creativity, passes between the lines, final delivery from the flanks. He's he's a provider, is he? He is. He can go stand at the far post as well. I think Spurs fans will see that did it at Wembley. Yeah. So I picked up the left wing and scored. But I mean, he's not got that pace of a traditional winger. He doesn't beat you for pace. He relies on uh, Benjamin Mendy on the, the left back to bomb down, create some space for him, and you know, whip in crosses. But he, he's strong as well. I remember last season he was playing sort of left centre mid at times as well. Mm. Uh, he can tackle. He can pass. He's quite strong. Yeah, his, his pace maybe lets him down, but when you've got the, the vision and the, the brain, as I'm sure Arsenal fans are people, Perez and Cazola and Rosicky, those guys, you don't need pace. You just need to be thinking faster than everyone else, and, and that's what he does really well. Yeah, I, I spoke to Robert Perez about Thomas Lamar. He's a massive fan of him, and I think probably sees a little element of it himself in him. He wasn't the quickest necessarily over the ground, but so intelligent. Uh, I mean, mm-hmm. what, what I was going to ask you was, Arsenal being linked with... 
four French-speaking players pretty regularly at the moment, and it feels like it's going to be one of Mbappe or Lacazette as a striker, probably Lacazette. And then uh, in that kind of slightly withdrawn role, they're being linked a lot with Thomas Lamar and Riyad Mahrez. As someone who's watched the Premier League and Liga, if you had to choose between Lamar and Mahrez, which way would you go? See, it all depends on what, what you want, isn't it? Because they're both very good players. Mm. Mahrez, Don, Don Wonders, and has the Premier League experience as well. And I think if you're keeping Sanchez, I think I'd want Riyad Mahrez to play maybe as an upgrade on what Ozil brought or can mm. bring, but consistency is an issue. Mm. Uh, yeah, Lamar is, is is a different player from Mahrez. That's the thing. They're two two really different players, although they're playing similar roles. Right. I think for Arsenal, I'm hedging towards Mahrez in terms of what what you've got already, and I think it really depends on what happens to Sanchez and Ozil, if who's staying and who's going. But I mean, if you can get Lamar as well, you, you're really replacing them with some top top quality. But I think Mahrez to play both on the left wing and the right wing of that attack probably fits a bit better at this moment. And I, I guess what he's got going for him, Mahrez, is that he, he knows the Premier League. He's that little bit older, maybe a bit more of a, a ready-made product. Um, so what do you think, just finally, I mean, we talked about the difficulty of getting him out of Monaco. If you had to place a bet, do you think he'll still be with Monaco next season or do you think he'll have moved to, perhaps to the Premier League? Money talks, unfortunately. So I think if the, the checkbook comes out and they raise it up, and it depends what Monaco are going to agree on because you're looking at sort of maybe 50 million euros, something mm. like that, to mm. get them possibly. If you're willing to pay that, then everyone's got a price in Monaco. They'll just find some other youngster they'll pluck for less than 10 and then they'll be linked in 12 months. But I, I really hope the Marsh days, uh, I, I think, sense for the player and sort of his career that it makes. It's a lot of smarter idea from the state Monaco for 12 months. So maybe that's more my, my heart over my head. But yeah, I think he'll stay for now unless the, the big money comes out and yeah, we're going for 50, 60 million euros. Yeah. Then yeah, maybe I'll go for them. You might have to be in that bracket. Okay, Andrew, thanks so much for, for your expertise and for your time. Uh, I'm sure we'll speak to you again soon. Cheers, James.